Durham is just the latest in a string of counties and cities to release strict guidelines for Halloween. CBS 17's Imani Payne joins us now live. And Imani, tell us more about these plans. Going door to door, neighborhood to neighborhood may not be a possibility in Durham this year as city and county leaders work to keep everyone safe. That sound may be a thing of the past. Tonight, Durham County Commissioners doubling down, asking the community to follow new Halloween safety guidelines. Because of COVID 19, traditional activities like trick or treating, indoor events, and large gatherings are strongly discouraged and considered high risk. It's part of a plan spearheaded by Mayor Steve Shule. The city is asking that you not participate in door-to-door -door trick or treating or large trunk or treat events in church parking lots. They also ask that you turn off porch lights and put up signage to discourage large crowds in neighborhoods. We can't afford to have a super spreader event at Halloween. And they're not alone. Several other cities, including Raleigh and Fayetteville, are also discouraging trick or treating, releasing low to high risk activity indicators to help you plan your night, rating activities like virtual costume contests to grab and go candy bags at the end of a driveway to crowded costume parties and trick or treating. Meantime, cities like Roxborough and Holly Springs are allowing trick or treating. While each city has a different strategy, leaders in Durham say theirs is all about keeping everyone protected. But that doesn't mean you cannot still enjoy Halloween with your children and your families. The city says at this time there are no plans to use any barriers or police officers to manage Halloween traffic for COVID safe events in Wake County and Durham counties. Visit CBS17.com. For now, we're live in Durham. Imani Payne, CBS17 News.